all three countries are part of our European family. We've never let any doubt about that. Just received candidacy. It is a victory. We've been waiting for 30 years and 120 days. Unfurling a 30-meter flag in front of the EU Parliament, lawmakers and Ukrainians took a moment to mark Ukraine being granted candidate status for the European Union on Thursday. It's a move that will boost the country's morale as the battle with Russian troops for two eastern cities reaches a bloody climax. The approval of the Kiev government's application by EU leaders in Brussels is just the start of what will be a years-long process. But it marks a huge geopolitical shift that will anger Russia as it struggles to impose itself on its neighbour. Friday will mark four months since Russian President Vladimir Putin sent troops across the border in what he calls a special military operation. Russia has partially justified the action by pointing to Western encroachment into what Russia considers its sphere of influence. The West sees it as an unjustified war of aggression by Russia. The war of attrition in the Donbass in the east of Ukraine is most critical in the twin cities of Sviero-Donetsk and Lysychansk, on opposite sides of the Sviersky Donetsk River in Luhansk province. Russian news agency RIA Novosti released this footage late on Wednesday, said to be of fighting in the Lysychansk area. An advisor to Zelensky said the battle there is, quote, entering some kind of fearsome climax. Russian forces were trying to encircle Ukrainian troops defending Lysychansk, a Ukrainian defense official said on Thursday. The governor of Luhansk said separately that all Lysychansk was in reach of Russian fire and the Ukrainian troops there might retreat to new positions to avoid being trapped. Zelensky is due to speak at this week's NATO summit. On Thursday, the organization's Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg pledged further aid. We will take further decisions to support Ukraine and other partners at risk, including with a comprehensive assistance package for Ukraine. And I welcome that President Zelensky will address leaders at our summit. We will improve burden sharing with more defense investment to do more together. 